everyone. Today and for most of this week, we are going to be using Clever. And I know you know about Clever because you use it for iReady often. So as you can see, I am on Clever as a student. And the place that you guys are going to mainly go this week for ELA is to my page, Miss Lee's page. And you can see my little bitmoji there. So you're going to click on me. And then when you are here, you will see all the different um, apps that I have put on here for you. So right now we're gonna be talking about the Scholastic app. So Scholastic Pro is the first thing that I want you to check out this Monday. And it is an amazing resource that's full of books that you guys can read online. So if you have a book you're reading at home, by all means, keep reading that book. But if you want to try out a new book or you don't have any books at home, this is what I want you to use to read for 20 minutes every single day. It could be 20 minutes first when you wake up in the morning. It could be during class when you have extra time. It could be at the end of the day. But I want you to be reading for 20 minutes each day. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this red book, the Scholastic app. And when you click on it, you can see that it's logging me in with Clever. Once I get to the Scholastic Digital Manager, it will ask me to launch Literacy Pro. And so we're going to click the launch button. When we click that launch button, it will take us to this lovely blue screen and hopefully it will all load beautifully. Um, but what this app does is it allows you to kind of take a pretest of sorts. Now, it's not a test test like you guys took on Scantron, but instead it's asking you for your opinion on different titles or what you like to read. I have logged in as one of our lovely students, so I'm not going to take the test for her because I want her to put her interests and likes into it. But once you go ahead and you go through um, the lovely little quiz that they have set for you, like do you like animals? Um, do you like funny books? Those types of things. Then it will collaborate and take all of your information and set up so many books that are kind of what you like based on your results for that quiz. And then you can go ahead and read those books. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll be right back. Now, as you can see, I've jumped back in and I'm under another student's name. This lovely student has already taken their pretest. And so you can see these are the books that she's reading, um, that she's thinking more about, that she can jump back into at any time. It shows how long she's been reading, and Miss Lee can see how long you've been reading too and um, logging your time. She can go to my books and she can see the books that she is currently reading. She can also see some of the books that she has read or that she's put in her library of books to read. So these are all different books she's either read or books that she wants to read. You can go to Explore and it will show you the books that you're reading, but also all of these other books that you could possibly read if you would like. So maybe these are books that might interest you. You can search for a book. So when you are in the search bar, you can search for a book that you want to read, like um, hmm, Lemonade Wars. And then when you find that book, you can click on it. And you can see that it is here, but now here's the important part. It is not an ebook. You don't see that big E at the bottom of it. So I can't read it on the computer. You'll notice that some of the books you search, you can find, but you can't read them. It's really important that when you are looking for books, that you are toggling this switch right here to ebooks only. Because, as you can see, I toggled it to ebooks. Lemonade Wards isn't an ebook, so I can't read it on the computer. So it's not going to help me much. But if I'm looking for ebooks, Maybe I want to read something about adventure and I want ebooks only. And then now all of these books have those E's at the bottom. That means that these are books that I can read online. So I can take time, 20 minutes every day, if not more, to read one of these books that are full of adventure. And they have the big E at the bottom, which means I can read them. Okay? So you want to make sure that when you are searching for books, or looking at books that you have this toggled up here to where it says ebooks only. And then when you are looking at books, like let's say you're looking at the Explore books, that you are looking for the books that you can read now. If there's no read now button, you can't read it on the computer and that would stink. So make sure that you are looking for books that have that read now or that ebook button. And find books that you love, find books that you're gonna enjoy reading and share them. Miss Lee is going to be checking in with you next week 
and asking you. Um, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting. You're going to tell me about your book. You're going to share a little bit of it. You might even read some to me. And we're going to check in with each other because I want to know what you're reading and I want to know what you're enjoying because part of reading class is finding books that you love to read and enjoy. And so part of your homework every night is 20 minutes of reading. So check out Scholastic Literacy Pro, take your quiz, and then find some books you really enjoy and start reading. I can't wait to see how much you guys read this week.